Now, as I juggle these mobs, this video is meant to be a preview of the zone that you folks will be seeing in the War Within, starting with the Island of Dawn. And there will be obviously more videos on this channel for the rest of uh, the various zones in the War Within Alpha. So just stay tuned, right? You'll get to see all the good stuff on this channel. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so we're in the Island of Dawn here. And I think this is really like the starter quest kind of thing. See these in the Rubians. I think we're supposed to like fight in the Rubians. If I'm not wrong, Zalathath is commanding the Nerubians. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm correct because that's what they said at BlizzCon, right? So if you don't know the lore about this um, entire new zone that we're heading to, essentially, there are deeper and deeper layers that we need to explore on this brand new continent. And in the depths lie the Nerubian army that is commanded by Zalathath, essentially. Uh, I'm just screwing around here. I'm just playing around with, you know, my new kind of talent trees and whatnot. Yeah, so if I'm not wrong, Island of Dawn is actually the very first zone that you would land. And Island of Dawn is basically, probably how I think about it is based on this alpha map. You have to progress from here deeper and deeper into the different zones. We know Hello Falls, the one with the light and dark crystal, right? If you guys saw the BlizzCon presentation, there was a artificial lighting source, it's a crystal. And it toggles between a light crystal and a dark crystal. And then you have the ringing deeps. And I think you just go deeper and deeper. Ask Kahat is where all the Nerubians are. So it's interesting that you get some Nerubian mobs already here on the shores where I suspect you land from Dragonflight. Side note, it's kind of weird not playing my usual UI. <laughs> but yeah, let's just kind of explore here a little. Uh, they've already enabled dragon riding. So they allow you to kind of fly around and showcase the zone. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll kind of fly through the zone and show you folks everything that you need to see here. Um, and then this is kind of reminiscent of, I don't know if you played Legion. This is like reminiscent of like Naru structures and whatnot. Um, I think there's a mini boss. Damage Arcane Relic. This is supposed to be, I think, part of the quest line and whatnot. And yeah, let's just find Troll, I guess. Let's turn in here. And yeah, we have a BFA favorite, Lady Jaina Proudmore on the shores, <laughs> assisting us with, I guess, whatever we're trying to do here. And then we have Thrall. Obviously, we saw him in the cinematic. Thrall says, urgent recovery. We survived mostly unharmed. Not everyone was so lucky. Search battlefield for survivors. And kill the Rubians. Well, I should have done this way earlier. Now, before we kind of proceed on with the rest of um, the quest, let me just fly around and show you guys the different parts of the zone. So we'll proceed on here and we'll try and explore like the rest of the entire zone here. So you can see, similar to Dragonfly, they're returning to this very large expanse kind of uh, land and zones. And this was very much kind of missed, I think, in the dreary, kind of more dull-looking uh, Shadowlands, right? Which is the mob. But this is a return to fantasy. They clearly want to kind of just give us, you know, high fantasy vibes again. Now, a lot of the mobs here are missing, as they have uh, mentioned previously. But I can still kind of fly around and just show you guys. This is more like a... Or crystalline kind of structure. I don't know if it's got anything to do with those minor earthens that we talked about in BlizzCon. Basically, there's a group of earthens that there's three factions, right? One of them's job is to kind of mine materials for the Titan's machineries and whatnot. So this might be one of those kind of areas. And what you notice here is there's a kind of a layer of fog. Don't really want to fly near the shore because I'm pretty sure there's nothing at the shoreline. Probably want to go closer inland here and see what's up. They did mention that, oh cool, is this a raid boss? No, no raid boss. But um, they did mention that a lot of the mobs are not finalized yet. So what you see here, it might not be what you get. This is kind of a nice touch. You can already see some um, local wildlife, sheep. Let's try and wander towards the center of the zone, I think. Here you get some hint of the Titan machineries, right? The leftovers, and you get this mob here, <laughs> some shroom-like mobs. But yeah, you see they're kind of guarding the Titan's machinery or Whatever is left of the Titan machinery, I think. Some wheels here. This is a bit of their civilization, I think. And if you fly beyond that, trying to fly towards the middle of the zone here. Frey World Village. So I think this is where you spot the first Erden kind of tribe. Yeah, I think so. This is like the first Erden tribe, right? You have some placeholder NPCs already. Uh, this is probably the inn, I think. Yeah, definitely the Erdens here. Some people questing already. But yeah, very... Again, return to kind of high fantasy, right? A bit Lord of the Ring vibes here for some reason. But yeah, these are definitely Erdens. Just look at the NPCs. I think they've kind of did a number on the lighting here. All right, looks... You can tell that the art team has put in, um, you know, quite a bit of work here. Even though this is Alpha. Uh, this is the inn. I was mistaken. This is where the inn is. And that's kind of cool. You know, new continent or not, it seems like dwarves all kind of like to drink. So yeah, that explains all the marks and whatnot. 
Let's just journey further on here. Here, zooming out here, the island of Dawn, right? You can see it's a massive expanse as we're traveling down this path in the middle here towards the south side. Yeah, it's pretty wide, pretty massive. I can almost imagine lots of farming of rares here. Looks like we have some dragon racing NPCs here. So that's going to still be a thing. Let's just check out what's going on here. Boulder Springs. And I guess it's a reference to kind of this spa-like place where you can kind of rest your weary feet and whatnot. Oh, cool touch. I don't know if you guys saw, but you guys get a renew buff here on the top right. <laughs> kind of cool. Nice touch. You know, this is what Blizzard needs. Or rather what World of Warcraft needs. I think a lot of the magic has been lost in terms of just making this game kind of, okay, let's just get through all the zones to get to end game. I think a lot of discussions and debate around should the leveling process be more fun, more immersive? Naturally, there'll be more NPCs here, but a bit of like, I don't know, tar pits here? But there'll be a lot of, um, you know, kind of throwbacks to enjoying the leveling process, right? Taking in the sights and sounds. And I really kind of like the architecture here. It's a mixture of like Titan architecture. You can tell from these engravings at the top. Um, and kind of don't know if it's suggested that like all these plantations are overgrown. Don't know whether it's done on purpose, but generally pretty chill vibes here. And this is why it's probably called Boulder Springs because it's a place for rest and relaxation maybe. But let me fly to the middle of the map now. And maybe let's just start here, right? Um, the Procenium. This seems like a ring of blood area to me, right? If you look at this entire place, if you guys did like Nagran, um, and even in the Dragonfly, right? There was a zone where we had the Ring of Blood kind of quest. I can totally see this being a PvP fest where you do some group questing and then they summon mini bosses one wave after another and then they reward you with some pretty good loot. And yeah, I don't know whether like that's why you have all these steps here maybe to just kind of have spectators sit here and just watch the fight. You can see over here, I think if I can just slash sit here, it's probably a good cosplay kind of view, yeah. I'm watching the arena, yeah, kind of nice. This is a nice view of the arena. Um, And then this is the top, nothing too much here. So let's just fly on from here. Oh, interesting. This is an actual like sub zone. So if you see on my map here, um, if I press the map pod key, you actually have your quest and map just way more zoomed in on this sub zone, the proscenium. I have no idea what this place is. Maybe it's kind of like the faction that you need to kind of win reputation with. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. I think in the alpha press release though, Blizzard did tell us that in the Island of Dawn, you mainly encounter the denizens that are known as the Earthens. And like I said, in this video, there are three types of earthens. Um, and I believe the first is the Oath Swan. These are the dwarves that remain loyal to the Titans. There's the Unbound, the ones who kind of like gone off to do their own thing. And there's one more that kind of eludes me, I can't remember, but they mentioned it in the BlizzCon presentation. So that area that we were in could be part of their civilization and whatnot. Different colored wolves. Oh, they let us test herbalism as well, I think, for professions. And then we have this area. Um, not really sure. Then we have the Stone Shapers Atrium. This is the Sanctuary. I wonder if this is... Well, we know it's a Sanctuary, so I don't know if this is actually the city. Yeah, it's definitely the city. I found the city. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to check out the entire capital city, I have a dedicated video up on the channel already. You can check it out. Um, that covers the entire new capital city. So it seems like just, you know, just beside this entire capital city, we have the dungeon entrance to Rookhold. I believe that's one of the new dungeons or rather the Rookery. Anyway, let me just zone in and just show you folks how it's like. I wouldn't do the dungeon in this video because we'll do it in a dedicated video. I want to cover all the stuff about the dungeon, the various mechanics, all the mobs and stuff like that. So we'll get down into it. But you can see we are scaled to level 80 right off the bat. These are level 79 elites already. And it seems pretty expensive. I don't know whether it's a dragon riding dungeon. Yep, it's not a dragon riding dungeon. But a bit of Shrine of the Storm vibes even. I don't know, with the sea and um, kind of an open landscape kind of thing. I believe this is Teleporter. You kill the first boss, teleport to the next platform maybe. But you can see this very interesting uh, structure up front. Here, you see? The structure has a big ass tree on top of it. Don't know what that is, but we'll cover that in the dungeon video. Summoning stone, summon your pals from Mythic Plus. I think this will be probably very, very convenient for people to just fly over from the capital city to get their weekly keys done. So that's something to take note of. But yeah, this is this is massive, right? This entire capital city is absolutely gorgeous and massive. And lots of water features here. We know Blizzard loves their water. <laughs> okay, let's explore the rest of the island here. So there's the capital city. 
Um, but let's travel on to maybe the eastern side of the island that we have not seen anything for yet. So when you're in the eastern shores, um, nothing too much here in terms of, I think it's a lot of placeholder kind of textures and whatnot. Uh, with some sand elementals here. Then we have Cinderbrew Meadery and we have more Titan architecture up front. This kind of tells me it's another civilization of sorts. Yeah, seems like it. See those Titan gears and whatnot. Probably another outpost for all the different earthen tribe. Clearly they are using this as a melting pot of sort. Either that is like or some cooling feature for the Titan's machinery below the ground. With more of them here. Some vendors, NPC to sell stuff. Again, the gold ridges and trimmings that we see so iconically throughout the entire um, dungeon. Wait, sorry, I didn't mean dungeon, but I saw the meeting stone here, which is... This is where the raid is. This is the entrance of the raid. This basically is it. Wait, hang on. Could this be the raid? I thought the first raid is the Nerubian. Should be the Nerubian raid. So I don't think this is the raid, but I don't know what this is. I guess we will know in due course. Let me try and enter. Don't know what this is, but let's see. I think it's actually one of the new dungeons. So we shall see. It probably is one of the new dungeons. Cinderbrew Meadery. Yep, this is definitely the dungeon because I'm skilled to level 80 here. So this is probably coming in Mythic Plus in some shape or form. Oh, you can already tell the first pool is going to be massive. Um, anyway, we'll do a dungeon video on this. So uh, we'll come back to this later on. <laughs> we'll do a deep dive of the dungeons in a separate video. So if you guys want to check out um, the channel homepage, the videos will already be up. Also, all the alpha videos will be linked in the description. So you won't miss a thing from the alpha. Anyway, that's the Cinderbrew Meadery. And... I think it's just the northern parts that I want to explore now. But there's some kind of islands off to the north side that I just want to check out if they have any purpose at all. It's called the Three Shields. And I think the reason why it's called the Three Shields is because there's three of them. These islands, right? You have some gargoyle kind of creatures over here. And then the only remaining part to explore is probably like to the north of this island. But yeah, it's a, it's a massive, massive expense. Um... I don't think there's anything up top. Oh, maybe there is. You can see the dragonfly glyphs there. Yeah, so there's some glyphs that you can basically get. I think there might be some dragon racing here. If not, they wouldn't put all these islands here. Let's kind of head down to the top part of the map here. There's a cave. Maybe some rares. Check it out. Some Nerubian kind of spider web like stuff already. You see the spider webs. This is probably just questing, right? Pretty sure this is questing. Uh, here, this is called Lure Drop. So you need herbalism for this. Should have trained before I set foot in this zone. This is a fly through of the zone again. And yeah, you can see. Again, High Fantasy is the name of the game, it seems. That's what Blizzard is aiming for going into the expansion. I'm trying to see whether I can fly to the other zones. Probably some form of fatigue here that I need to worry about. Yeah, it seems like Blizzard hasn't added all these structures yet because there's supposed to be some rock formations here as you can see for the map in Halo 4. Oh, it's underneath man that's smart it's supposed to be underneath where i'm hurling out here so yeah i think that's pretty much the entry zone island of dawn again blizzard has stressed that this is a lot of placeholder kind of assets a lot of mobs are not added yet so it seems like it's very vast and it's kind of you know there's some good amount of negative spaces but that's really because they haven't added a lot of like these NPCs and oh my god, Jesus, what the hell these things hurt? Okay, anyway, those are elites, I think. Uh, but you get a point. Like um, the island of Dawn has the capital city, which we will cover in a separate video about the brand new capital city where we will spend most of our time hanging out. Uh, it's the new Veldraken, basically. Definitely better than Oribos, that's for sure, <laughs> from the first impressions already. But I'll dive into that in a separate video. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the first zone that I wanted to kind of preview for everyone is the Island of Dawn. And I think this is where we make our landfall at the start of the expansion. And you start questing here. You eventually get introduced to the capital city. And then from there, you get a clue of how do you go deeper into the zones below this entire thing, right? I think you actually go in deeper like that. It's kind of, um, they mentioned, right? It's a seamless transition between zones and you actually go deeper and deeper. But other than that, this is kind of a tranquil start, a return to high fantasy in some of the structures. And yeah, that's pretty much the zone preview. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the subscribe button. Way, way more The War Within exclusive alpha and beta coming to this channel. I'll keep every one of you posted. So make sure um, you stay subscribed to the channel. That's it. If you're looking for more alpha kind of content and footage and whatnot, everything will be 
covered in the description below. I'll link them to all the dedicated videos I'm making regarding the Alpha, so you won't miss a single action from the Alpha if that's your cup of tea. Last but not least, a big shout out to Blizzard for having me in the exclusive Alpha, and also a big shout out to all the Patreon subscribers that you see on screen. Thank you so much for making this channel a possibility. This credit goes out to you, and if you would like to support this channel, the link to our Patreon is in the description below as well. The video on the screen will definitely interest you regarding the alpha for the war within, so do check it out. See you soon.